one of the holes that does have an OB line because it is adjacent to hole 18. Vanessa throwing a beautiful shot with her roach. Fantastic. So technical because that, that late tree's on the right. They've really optimized this course. Oh, great putt by Haley. Man, saving the bogey. Not only is that an elevated basket, but she was also putting from below. So that was a significantly high putt for Haley. Very nice. Vanessa with a nuke, putting a move on it. Nice power by Vanessa. Haley throwing a Zeus on a little bit in an Anheuser. She's really getting greedy here. She <laughs> wow. Catches that's... a little bit of foliage on the right side, but it's perfectly in the middle. And that is three of the directions. 588. Holy cow. I'm throwing a relay. Well, I wondered how it got there. <laughs> <laughs> Just making that uh, second shot elevation a little easier to judge. And the basket's not right on the edge of the top of the hill. It's back a little bit farther, so you have to crest the hill and then turn slightly from left to right. Yeah, if she could throw a backhand from that position, it would be helpful, but I think she's in the rough too far. Haley with a Zeus on a nice turn. That's perfect. She's easily got enough power to get there. She's got a nice straight shot at the basket. And Haley for birdie. There we go. There she finally connects on those longer putts today. She got that first one, but then hasn't made one since, and here it is. Full extension with the hand. Excellent. Cat here with a, a similar distance, but well obstructed. Oh my goodness, what a great putt. With a full <laughs> layout. That's great power from a straddle. Oh, check this so out. So wide. Full commitment. Does a little push up after she makes it. Beautiful shot. Haley with a Zeus just powers it up there and gets the skip inside the circle. She had had just a little bit more height on that. She might have been right, right at the base of the pin. I think she should still have a good look through the gap. Oh, I like this one. This is my signature trace. Yeah, that's beautiful. Right in the gap. Really happy nice with open that. Shot. I think it's better to be short here than obstructed. Haley going sidearm with her Zeus. Puts it way out there. Oh, that should be a really nice spot, especially with that roll. Cat with an H3 V2. Just sneaking by the, the cedar. Wow. Beautiful. Textbook. Haley looks like maybe a stalker. I'm not actually sure what that is. I haven't seen that disc yet. She's got a chance. Inside the circle. Key is being in front of that cedar tree. I do think that this plays as a little bit of a soft par five. Agreed, yep. Vanessa, though, getting the birdie. From a low stance with, um, you know, her back, her heels are going downhill. Yeah, that's very nice.
Paige lining up one of her newest signature discs, The Passion. It's got a good turn on it. Wow. Holy cow. That is a way to start the round. We saw no birdies on this yesterday, and she's set up to get an easy one. Throwing a leopard three here. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, we like them putts. <laughs> yes, we do. And just thick. It can be hard to find discs in there. I didn't even, I had threw one over there and didn't even look for it. I was like, I ain't going in there. <laughs> Kristen with a grace, getting a nice turn. This was a phenomenal shot. Oh, yeah, right in the middle. Way, way up there. 616. Oh, wow. You mentioned that this is a soft par five. It played as the fourth easiest hole for the day. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of make a mistake and still still scramble your way through it. And Kristen's <laughs> like, I'm going to put it closer. <laughs> I mean, she really only had like 300 feet of distance to get there. It's like this. The landing zone is very small to have a really clean look. It's hard to tell from the tee exactly where you want to be because you need to be positioned between those trees or roll in front of them in this case. Yeah, Cat with her F7 and made a correction from yesterday. And she's kind of pinched on that right side, but she's really far up there. Paige with a Zeus. Oh, roller angle. Love it. Ooh, but it's tracking right. Oh, it's just give it a right, little bit. <laughs> oh, right to the center. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's awesome. What a great shot. Throwing the Roadrunner again. Once again, totally missed the line. Oh, get through. It did. Yeah. I guess it takes five rings to get it through those trees. <laughs> oh, I love that. You don't want your disc to fall in either of those directions. Katrina with an H3 V2. Puts a great move on it. Yeah, she's way up there. And has a bit of a hyzer in. A little room on that right side. Paige trying to throw it in. Oh! <laughs> wow. Cat with a D2. Taking that tall, over-the-top shot. Ooh, that wind is pushing it. Ooh, inside the circle. She made a really fantastic putt from just outside the circle yesterday to get this birdie. Kristen with a grace, Ooh, little air bounce. That probably helped. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sticks the landing. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Kristen with a grace. Wow, that is the farthest shot I've seen on this hole. That was huge. Cat with an X3. Pushing that right side just perfectly. Yeah, huge. Excellent shot. Kristen with a grace on a hyzer. It flips up really well in into that headwind. And it's a great position. A little far to the right, but it's open. It should be open enough for her to get a shot to the green. And Roadrunner. As they get through that tree. Oh, wow, right to the rocks, perfect position. Page for birdie. Oh, wow. She's like, Kristen, you're not tying it up. I'm gonna get this one too. Saves it after the errant tee shot. 
And with the miracle shot through the woods, cashing in on the 35-footer. Beautiful putt. Page with a Zeus putting it on a turn. A lot of height on that. And a lot of distance. Kristen with a grace. Really nice. Cat with the H three V two. Another oh, yeah. beautiful shot. The crowd likes it. Makes this hole so much easier. Paige hopefully can get a read on what just happened. Going with the Zeus. Putting it way out left, and it's still turning. This is a crush. That's great. Pretty flat ground. Getting around that bush. Which she might have an eagle look from there. The open. Paige looks like she's going for the eagle. Get in there. Oh, wow. Head to the circle putt. Great shot. <laughs> Excellent. Just over the rim. Cat and Paige have been going with rollers with this on previous days. F says seven nearly hits that cedar but gets through. And she's really far down there. Yeah, that's a little an bit, excellent. a little bit right, but. And Kristen with a grace. Puts it up really high. That's got good potential. And it's turning. Oh my goodness. And she almost throws oh, it no. in. Oh, I thought she was going to roll OB there. But she stays safe. This is one of the best shots I've seen. I mean, she has to, if she hits those trees high, she's going to kick far in one direction or the other. Yes, this is an aggressive line. Really well done. But this is apparently how you get to the pin. Vanessa Van Dyke and Kristen and from Circle a drop Two. In. Well, it looks like she's going for this. And she has not made a circle two putt yet this whole tournament. Oh, really well done. Wow. She gets such great spin. And then, wham, full send. Great commitment on that treacherous basket. Page with a Zeus. If you can throw it as far as Paige does, then that tree does not necessarily get in your way at all. She gets inside circle two, and that was, I mean, a gorgeous shot, perfectly executed, right down the middle, perfect turn up the hill. Paige putting her passion to work. Good height. And she sneaks oh my gosh. through that right side with a short putt for Birdie. Who also certainly has the distance potential to get to this one. Oh, that's a little low. Is it going to skip up there? That's a pretty good skip. Yeah, tons of power inside the circle. Paige with a soul. Hmm, that's a little higher than I would have expected, but it's... Fading nicely. Kind of gets lucky through those trees. Wow. And ends up on the left side in the gap.
I'm throwing a trace. I like the looks of that. Gets us. Oh, that's stay there. Yeah, it's okay if it trickles into the right a bit. That was very well done. Paige with her putter. Looks she doesn't like it, but she doesn't know that oh. it's really this <laughs> close. She had uh, made errors on that that throw in the previous two rounds. Kristen with the grace on a pure hyzer. Boy, oh, stay out of there. Wow. <laughs> With a favorable wow. roll out of the rough. Paige up first with her Zeus. That is an aggressive line, but she knows that she's got enough distance to clear that OB. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So she's going for eagle at this point. Putting the pressure on Kristen, who needs to try to match that shot. That looks really good. Ooh. Also puts it in the fairway. Super extreme. She'll bar barely be able to see the basket. Just maybe the top of it. And the land falls away behind. Yeah. Paid with a passion. That looks excellent. A little bit left. But right there. For the eagle. Now, Kristen, this is her eagle putt. And Paige is much closer than her right now. Yeah, she can barely see the top. This is critical. She's already made one so far. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> like, that is that is huge. That is, I mean, even from 20 feet closer, that putt is really difficult because you just can't quite see that elevation. I don't think she could even see it going in. And she pushes it so far and center. The strength that it takes to get there on a straddle. It, that's uh, amazing. She has so much like finger spring and leg strength. It's, wow, that was critical. Now that puts the pressure on Paige. She's got to make this putt. And Paige for Eagle. Oh, no. Wow. Another right side miss. Wow. And Kristen, easy putt to secure the win. What a great finish by Kristen. Whew, the little fist pump. Wow. Congratulations to Kristen Tatar. This is her very first Pro Tour win. Discraft Great Lakes Open champion, Kristen Tatar. Kristen, congratulations on your first Disc Golf Pro Tour victory. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Uh, it's hard. <sighs> because I've been waiting for this for a long time and I mean, like, Worlds was tough, and, like, the following weeks were tough, and I just couldn't, like, find myself on the course and didn't really recognize myself. And now I'm really proud of myself that I just kept fighting no matter what, and, and whatever happened on the course, I just kept going. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. You know, you're a player that we don't really see a lot of emotion out of, but you're obviously feeling a lot of emotion now. <clears throat> what does it mean for you to be back here in the United States competing? Um, it means a lot. I've been waiting for this uh, one and a half years and I've been training almost every day and just dreaming about coming here and, uh, and competing here and now I'm finally here so it's a dream come true. An incredible display of putting here today. Can you walk us through what's going your, on your mind as Paige is inside the circle yeah. putting for Eagle on 17 and you're looking at a 50 footer up the hill? Yeah, well, I was asking for scores from Silver and um, uh, he told me that we're tied. Uh, so I just told, me, t told him that I just have to go for it then because this is the only way because I was so sure she's going to make it. And 
when I saw the disc come out of my hand, I instantly knew that it was going in. So I was like, yes, I have a chance. <laughs> and of course, I was sad to see Paige missing it because you never want to see that. But like, uh, I knew I was not gonna birdie the last one. And um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it was emotional, yeah. Is there anyone back in Estonia, anyone at all that you'd like to, to, to shout? Uh, everybody, just everybody who, who have been messaging me and um, there, there's been so many like uh, people from not only in Estonia but from all over Europe and I'm so thankful. I, I really appreciate all the su support and love and I feel very blessed right now and thank you to Silver, uh, my boyfriend who's like always uh, has my back and he's always uh, very encouraging so thank you. Well, I, I, I don't speak for just myself that it, it's it's really inspiring to see you guys travel across the world during this pandemic to, to compete. So we're just so happy that you're back here competing with us. What's next on, on, on the schedule for you? Uh, so we're going to uh, play in Preserve and then we're going to fly back and take part of European Championships and, and hopefully come back in the fall. Wonderful. Well, congratulations again. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just thanks uh, to everybody who came out here and everybody who were behind the cameras and everybody who helped uh, the organizing team, Nate Heinold and uh, just Jeff uh, Springs, you're amazing. Thanks. Wow, getting a hug from Silver. What a gracious and inspiring champion in Kristen. Very heartwarming. There's a fist pump. What a tournament. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Go ahead and give this one a like. And go subscribe to GK Pro, and we'll see you on the next one.